Welcome back. An attempted home invasion caught on camera, an exploding tree, an aide armed visitor, and an actor on vacation. Fox 12's Anna Katayama has a look at our top stories on KPTV.com in 2022. An intense summer heat wave caused a heritage tree to explode in southeast Portland. For seven days, the temperatures reached 95 degrees or higher. And that tends to cause thermal changes inside the tree in the wood tissues and also build, build up of gases inside the tree that can be explosive uh, and sudden. The explosion caused a branch weighing roughly 30,000 pounds to come crashing down. No one was hurt, but the more than 200-year-old tree had to be completely removed. A Portland family's dinner was interrupted by a stranger trying to break down their front door. My youngest son was screaming. We didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. The father confronted the man who then hit him with a piece of his own fence. The father fought back with a cat scratching post and a baseball bat before police arrived and arrested the man. An armed man trying to rob a bar in Northeast Portland is taken down by customers. When police arrived, they found the suspect beaten and subdued. He was taken to the hospital and charged. Try and get him off. Oh my God, there's a giant Pacific octopus. An unexpected catch. Nick Johnson says he was pulling a crab pot in Yaquina Bay when what appeared to be a giant Pacific octopus came up with it. Nick said this giant was trying to sneak a free crab lunch when it got a tentacle caught in a rope. The crabbers managed to set it free and it returned to the depths. More businesses left downtown Portland. While some cited a rising crime, others, like the owner of Floating World Comics, said people and workers just aren't returning to the core of the Rose City after the pandemic. I don't think that's coming back anytime soon, maybe in a couple years, who knows, but I mean, I waited two years and this is where we're at now. A new documentary put Oregon's popular but short-lived amusement park in the spotlight. The forgotten story of Pixieland told the story of Pixieland, built by the owner of the then-popular seafood restaurant Pixie Kitchen in what is now Lincoln City. Pixieland was open from 1969 until 1975 and brought thousands of visitors to the central Oregon coast. That's before it shut down because of money issues. A controversial Saudi Arabia-backed golf tournament came to North Plains. Live Golf brought big names such as Phil Mickelson and Bryson DeChambeau to the Pumpkin Ridge Golf Club. The tournament was met by some protesters, including families and survivors of the September 11th attacks. But plenty of golf fans also showed up to support the players. A messy situation. A semi leaked red dye for miles in the Portland metro area, splashing it on roads and other cars. Authorities tracked down the leaking semi. The driver told them he discovered the leak, but said the company told him to continue on to his destination. The driver was cited. And a celebrity sighting in the Beaver State. Actor Jack Black was spotted at Wallawa Lake. The Wallawa Lake Marina shared photos of the School of Rock star on social media. They said Black and his family took a pontoon ride around the lake and then relaxed with some fishing and swimming. Anna Katayama, Good Day, Oregon. You can find the list of our top local stories of 2022 on our website, kptv.com. We'll have a link at the very top of our homepage until January 1st. That's this Sunday.